So um, Blueberry Cottage is uh, one of the newer uh, buildings on our property. Um, we don't know the actual build state for it, but um, I know that Raina had found some really cute pictures. Uh, and we have several pictures from like the 50s that show that all of these trees that are everywhere were pretty tiny. Um, and now they're they're quite large. Um, there was uh, electric that was up here. It was actually to the other side of the cottage. This is the driveway side that we come up and um, it was going to require twice as much money if we um, did the electric to restore it from where it was. And it was because we would have had to have the old posts removed. So it was, it was cheaper to do it, um, a, a new one and do it on this side. Yep. Um, plus the underground wiring, they you know, would have probably needed to be redone um so this is what we did and then ray kind of has it rigged a little bit i think well, uh temporarily so that the power well, we works the new electrical panel feeding the old electrical panel and we're dragging circuits over you know bit and piece and we'll end up having a sub panel on the basement and the main panel in the in the master bedroom all yeah. right so he knows those things because he's an electrician um yeah, i know nothing good. about that Could so hey hey he's supposed to be the actor in the picture isn't he I know. I there he is. Okay. Children. There he is. Whichever way you want, I'll follow you. This is it is a kid house, and we really can't figure: is it Sears, Roebuck, Aladdin, Award, Montgomery, Montgomery Award? But not a typical kid house where it was all pre-cut lumber and put it together. This is a panel house, so. And it looks like it's probably multiple uh, things that were put together. You'll see it on the inside. Um, we actually still have the original shutters. Um, they, uh, they had it painted right before we purchased it. So yeah, so they, they pulled the shutters off, did not repaint the shutters, and they're in one of the barns. But they're actual shutters. So we'd like to get those. When I go to the barn that had like, you know, 85 shutters, I know which ones are for here. Uh, and so the original house, it, it, seem, it seems to be, it's most likely three houses or three kits that were put together based on how it's laid out. But it was meant to be uh, for a little higher end. Oh, yeah. You'll see when you go inside, there's definitive space for service. Yeah, can you two move a little bit closer together so you can hear you better? Yeah, okay, so he was too hard to hear. Okay. We got some of it, it just did get a little quiet at times. All right, thanks. So we're gonna we're gonna walk around and we'll go in. Um, so we'll, we'll be happy if you have a, a couple ports before I think that leads into the main living room area. Uh, but we don't new, really use that entrance no. as much. A couple of unique features in the house are these upper shutters are actually from the inside. There's a, there's a pulley system to open a vent so you can vent out the house. It's uh, There's several all over the place. Some, some running through the woods over here. Or you can open or close the windows to let so more you again. Yeah, but if you're too far away, they can't hear. Outside of the house, all these strips that are here are covering joining panels. The inside you can see, but they're actually bolted together. It's kind of neat. <laughs> well, they got the thing in pieces and bolted them together. So it's something that got moved. Uh, that particular. Do lap? No, we'll go in. Okay, we'll go in. Oh, this is a. So, unique enough and typical to what main would have. There's an outside sink for cleaning your fresh caught fish. Yes. And a really cool old dinner bell. 
But there was an updated security system, obviously, at some point, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so we have not done that much here. Um, in fact, we bought it with right. all of the contents in it. Uh, and but we did have some friends who stayed over in the summer um, and they stayed here. So there's just stuff everywhere. But this was one of our favorite little nooks. Yeah. Um, like a little dining area. Yeah, like a little little dining area. Um, it has it had a wood stove. Oh, it still has the wood stove. Um, in the kitchen here. Uh, well, there you go. You can see it. I think. Um, but we, you know, we were told never to use any <laughs> any of the wood <laughs> stoves. Uh, that it wasn't going to be very safe. Um, and then we've been really fortunate to find appliances to replace uh, some of the old ones. So we have a newer refrigerator, but we have Ginia Wexler's refrigerator right next to it. <laughs> and yeah. I just think that Ginia Wexler must have been one of the coolest old ladies ever and probably a very, very fascinating younger woman. Um, because she just has some of the the most interesting um, national parks, wildlife. She just really supported uh, environmental issues and human rights issues, and it was it was just kind of fun to see that. And so we we plan to redo the kitchen. That's one of our priorities because we have some newer appliances. Because look at this stove was only a hundred and sixty nine ninety nine. Um, <laughs> Not sixteen thousand dollars in <laughs> Oakland. So, so it's 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 a lot of kitchen. So all you really have is this oh. little thing here and a five foot sink base. So there's yeah. no kitchen in this kitchen. Yeah. It's a lot of space with very little regular modern accoutrements. So we also picked up. Uh, 20 feet of base cabinets only. Nice high-end Marillac cabinets, all slide-out drawers, really nice. Also for inexpensive. Also really inexpensive to yep. line around the walls and you know try and make the best use out of the kitchen space. Yep. No uppers, just all lowers, uh, keeping it similar to what we have down at the other house. Yep. And, uh, but but to, to, to give you a, a feel of now, so now this would be, this is your, your regular, your, the entrance for the help. So you, they would, you come in here, and they actually have two bedrooms back here. So you could have a, a his and hers or whatever it is, but these are just basic. Little just, tiny rooms, yeah. but uh, cute. Take a look over here. Little together. You can see, here's where the panels are bolted together. So you have these bolts, like every, what, two and a half feet. So you have, you're just bolted together. I would love to see how they did this. And here again is your, these ropes, you have one here, and there's one, I think, in the other room. Mm -hmm. And it toggles back and forth to open up the vent on the end. Huh. Just really interesting. But construction-wise, this is all homosome. So this was their cheap... Um, soundproofing and you know, there's no insulation behind this. There's nothing. It, it, you know, you, you you take out this and there's clapboards on the other side. So this is really, you know, three season at best. Yeah, and one of the things that we had hoped because this is our favorite um, building on the property, we had hoped that maybe we could that make we it a year before, round. Yeah. But, but I think we've kind of already given up on that unless. You have it's, some it's miraculous kind of ideas. Um, we had talked about the fact that everything is, well, I don't know if you can see that, um, but it's, everything comes out, like the windows come out two inches. Oh, we also have a trailer up there. Um, we thought, oh, well, maybe we could build the walls out, but I don't know that we have. Because even you, you'll notice that the walls are coming out. So far, far out, every switch, every outlet has to come yeah, if you take off the switch plate, 
there's the electrical box sticking out. Walls so it's four, three, four inches. Walls are tethered. Yeah. But it's, it, it's, it's, they're, they're set up really well because the, the house has three bathrooms and one, two, five, it's three, about four, five bedrooms. Five and a nursery. Yeah. They all have like pretty little light. They all had nice, nice plumbing fixtures. You know, things things that you know, everyone wants these narrow sinks these days. You know, so they're adorable. The narrow sinks, only pump, no shower head. Everything is get everything is get created on this. Um, the hardware is nice. It works. We had we had everything running this year. I don't know. I'm getting you right. There we go. Everything works nice. Uh, super vintage and totally functional. It gets a little confusing at the sink when you want warm water and all you have is hot or cold, but everything is is functional. Um, but one of the things that we would like to do is get it to be a shower if possible. Yeah. Um, because you know these days people. Well, wanna... it's, it's a shower, and again, we're still with home stone walls, so it's yep. painted on the wall. So to have tile would be nice, but that requires again we're gonna have to go back over this and. What you, might, what you might consider doing is is getting a one of those shower curtains that goes 360. Yeah. We have that. And, and, uh, well, we have that in um in the in the farmhouse. We have a similar yeah. situation, and that's what we've done there. Yeah. But what yeah. happens is here is is to get off of the tub nozzle. It's yeah. not traditional. I'll show one of the other bathrooms has. Uh, the 360 with the shower head. Yep. You can show you, can show you that. Yep. Yeah, but it's like they're weird. Um, they're, they're, it's, uh, it's, you yeah. have a three quarter inch inside thread, yep. and you end up with this with this thing that comes off, and it's a real knee knocker. You know, yep. so it's not too conducive to 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 that. On, on the sink. Wait, stop on the sink for a second. On the sink, there are. I think if you go online, you'll find there's faucets that bring the water up through those two holes mix them in the middle and they look traditional you know um, so go on that and see if you can what i've also one. seen is where they have single hole faucets now yeah so it's 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 a it's not as you know as traditional as this yeah. is but it ends up coming through one yeah, yeah, well, but that cool. too, yeah. Right. and on your tub uh, the uh, if you look at the center, what I wonder is if that center piece wasn't where there should have been that white thing in the middle. Was there was there a shower head design? No, this, is, this, is, this is drain. Oh, cool! That's even better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have that in the farmhouse too. It's the same type of plumbing. Yeah. Um, and it's it took us a while to perfect it out, but. We did. <laughs> yeah, so so wow. so you have the, the hot and cold come through here through this yep. net. Yep. And it stubs out to the to the tub strap. So this just feeds directly through. It's it's a really neat yeah. contraption, but it's yeah. all a little different. So we'll 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 show you some of the others, yeah. but the right the now other, I think the other issue is you don't have a floor that's conducive to getting wet, I don't think. No, just nah. wood. So and it seems like the wood is pretty thin. So I don't know. No. I don't know. It feels like it's thin. Um, no. I don't know if it's if it truly is. Now, what they did up here, you can see the ref by the reflection. Oh, yeah. Some of the um shielding tiles. True. Yeah. It looks so much better. Yeah. Um well, that, because the masonry, the old masonry has capture, it's going down. And it's really, they're just nasty. Yeah. And the mice like to um, tear them apart. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what you might consider in your house is most of your heat rises to the ceiling. And so yes. if you insulate the ceiling and then put storm windows on, um, given that you have a Florida climate there anyway, you should be just <laughs> fine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, I have been up in this ceiling, yep. and this is because of the of the, the construction. It's just it just barrels right through. It's, it's it because you get the high ceiling, and it just goes yep. wide open. Yeah, 
Well, uh, it's uh, kind of neat. Blown in fiberglass or cellulose seems like a good idea up there. Yeah, we're going to definitely have to do something. So the, mice, the mice like cellulose more. Okay. Really? What don't they like? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> good question. Yeah, that's what we'd like to have. No, none of them, but so we do. Uh, they don't that. like what they don't like is uh, mothballs. So throw mothballs around, you know. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, we'll invest in stock. They, you know, the mice have this. This um, house has been basically vacant since uh, Jinya uh, Wexler moved to Blue Hill. I believe she was living in a. a assisted living facility there, yep. but she was here till I think 2012, maybe, yep. or maybe even 2013. Yep. Um, and it literally has just stayed exactly yeah. so the same. Person. Actually, she, she, mm -hmm. she did come home back here with helpers in the summer. She did. Yeah, for quite a few years. Yep. Yeah. We did find some evidence of that too, and like all the phone numbers. And I just, yeah, I just find I just want to know more about her and like Mavis, um, her her niece Melissa. Uh, she's been sending pictures, and we've been talking. I, I had put out to the universe that when we were trying to get this property, that if it worked, I would write a biography about Jinya. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, so we've ha had the property now for two years. So I, I need to get working on that. Yep. Judy, have you and Ray come across this book? Is that the one about Hilda? Hilda wrote it. Yes. Yeah. So Mavis said she's going to give me a copy so that I can read yeah. that. But she also told me that Gary, um, the, the, her Her cousin. Been um or her son i guess it, it might have been her uncle mavis's uncle mavis's um edited uncle. she he edited out all of the uh juicy parts all the what parts juicy oh no i thought it was still pretty good it's loaded with photos oh that's yeah. awesome yeah and i know also know that uh the davis family donated um some of their archives to uh, Folger Library in Orono, and that they have a collection there. Um, so from the family, I know that there's quite a bit. Um, we do have a, we have this pantry here, um, which which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I mean, this is, you know. There's an, there's an outlet. So you have your, you have appliance, because you have no kitchen, really. So you have to have more appliances in here than anywhere else. But you, yep. This is your... Pot and pan and everything else room. So this is your upper cabinets, so to speak. Yeah, we yeah. actually thought though that it might make a nice laundry room, like if we could put a washer and dryer yep. under here, and we right. might have to get move some of the shelves, but that that would be a a good location for laundry. Oh, well, because what you end up having too is we have this pantry as this well. This pantry. <laughs> so and this is kind of. Okay, right. Look at that. The bar is kind of cool. You know, he comes with Sherry. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like I said, all still, all still here. Well, no, Ray did clean out the drawers because when the first time I opened one um, after we bought the house, I was like, you know, I never looked in these drawers. And I opened one and there was um, there was a mouse that was literally i opened the drawer and the mouse and i looked at each other and went <gasps> and i closed the drawer and <laughs> and, <laughs> and i'm gonna write a children's book about that one day because we, we just had a moment um <laughs> the cool thing is, is that we wonder how many um very cool cocktails were had it with oh. with the cool glasses oh, and yeah. Um, because there is also, um, Virginia kept from the 70s on a guest book about have. all the parties that they held here. Mm -hmm. um, Wonderful. And what the um, uh, menus were. So the interesting thing, so you had this extra thing with this crazy tube. Now, it may not make sense until you do this. Yep. This is so you could fill, fill it up, yep. do your washing. 
Yep. So you've seen that. This is, I love this. I never saw that before in my life. Yep. That's how you watched it. No, I never saw that either. No. Right. Very neat. So then out of here, so you have your your double swinging doors. You know, which are hooked in the bottom and I don't want to pull them out. But these are, you know, swinging yep. both from both sides. So you come back into the dining room. So you could cook it, bring it, serve it from here. Yeah, which I think really lends itself to like Connor Coven. Yeah. yeah. You know, oh, wow. a, a rental where where people could you know have have events. Yeah. Um, it's it's unique. Uh, asking with the built the built-ins that came with it must have been some kind of option that they went in for. So you have one on either side. Oh, huh? Yeah, yeah. 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 The cabinetry matches the bar. You know, all the fasteners and everything matches. Yeah. So just. Which I love. You know, and you know, I might be the skunk at the uh, party, but this house is so much of a piece and is so little changed that you're not very far from people, uh, this being the only place left like this. And, and consider sort of leaving it alone as much as possible because it yeah. is so much of a piece you know and and it reflects what buildings do is reflect people's minds you're seeing inside their minds really yeah. inside their house and this is just a really cool mind it <laughs> is oh wait and then well, 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 you come through you have that front doors here yeah which you come yeah again you can keep it separate and you come through and now you have this oh, i love this room yeah. so, Look at this. And it, and it, oh, the yeah. scope of came with everything. It came with its own Steinway piano. Because, you know. <laughs> because the, the Davis family. And, and the amount of music. One of the things we'd like to restore in here. So the fireplace at some point, the chimney must have had some sort of defect. And they took the actual chimney out. Off the outside. Off the outside. It just boxed this in. To have this be an actual full fireplace again would be fantastic. Nothing, you know, some music going, a lot of cocktails and a nice fire. That's what this room desires. Yes. You have the, uh, it's it's kind of almost chalet-ish in this. Yeah, I just, you know, I mean, feeling is... The, the problem is, is you can see over where where the chimney was, there was obviously been some water damage. Um, and we'd like to do something to repair that, obviously. Um, and the and the homosote, is that what it's Almost called? Anything. Is like not in the best condition in a lot of areas. And Ray has said, well, maybe we could just paint over it, but it looks so yucky, I don't know. I don't, so that would be something we'd like advice on. I'm not sure what that is. I guess it goes to like an attic space. We have not opened that. Um, we do know that the mice are loving um, and living up here. You can- Whatever plum space. Yeah. Walk right in front of the view of, oh, that was you. Okay. That was you. Well, because we have these windows up here. Yep. We have this eight pole that comes with the house. What you're supposed to do is one stick a little bit, but you're supposed to come in here, pull the latch down, and open the window, which is on chains. Uh huh. And so that's your 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 vent. But when we came up here the other day, one was open. Yes. Yeah. Open. We didn't, we didn't close it all, and so it was flapping. So I had to get a, a block. He just planed a little. Yep. Plane it down a bit. Um, we have not opened all of the doors uh, to go, that go out to the um, screened-in porch, but we have sat on the screened-in porch, and it is just because these are amazing. supposed to these open out, and these these bifold that way yep. on both sides. So you end up with this. 
really wide open. And the breed when you open when we open this door over here and you open the, the back door, the breeze that blows through here is crazy. Yeah. It's really so it's it's this this room to me is just everything. You left the uh, left the, tongs up the tongs up there. Um, this room is is everything, and I just want to have parties in here and <laughs> classes. And we our friends who stayed up here over the summer. We always talk about having like must have lived in another time as well, and we want fancy cocktail parties and get dressed up. And this is. This is the place to that you have to do that. <laughs> um, so, so that that's the plan. I will um, to show you the. Is this? Yeah, I mean, we unlock it. Unlock that, please. Yes. This is a good one. Oh. Yes. Yeah, don't ourselves. don't lock me. Don't lock it out. We locked ourselves out. So this. You know, we're afraid to sit in these um, mid-century looking wicker chairs just because, uh, yeah, because. we're afraid we'll just, we're just too big and we're just going to fall through them. But um, we have sat at this amazing picnic table uh, with lots of friends in the summer and eaten lobster. Just like ours. Um, yeah. One of the things that we're really curious about, and I know this isn't an antiques roadshow, but um, is this thing, um, <laughs> which <laughs> is a big pot. It's, it has that um, IHS with the cross, oh. which I, I know is something. I've looked that up and it says 1706. Um, and it's, it's like old pottery. There is a hole in it. Um, on this side over here uh there's a little tiny hole but it is the weirdest thing and i don't know what it is so the wire the wire that's found in, that's binding it is not 1706. Yep. Oh, what is it? i can tell you this much the inside looks like it was glazed and yes, so yeah. it was designed to hold liquid um yep. there were uh I guess what I would do is I would go online and you can search by shape these days. Oh, and, yeah. All right. Yeah. I, th I think <laughs> there were things that look sort of like that that were essentially shipping containers for liquids. I yeah. don't know what that one was, but I have no idea. Those those two projections on this side that I see are yeah. those. Yes. Yeah. Are there ones on the other side too? Yes, there are. There's four. There's okay. handles for carrying it. Yeah, or, or it would it would set inside a wooden frame nicely. Yes, uh, yes, it could. There's another. There's a, the most, uh, There's another resource right here in Sullivan. There's a company called Lunaform, up That's off Track Road, down in West Sullivan, mm -hmm. that makes these things modern. Yeah, it, and the guys that own it, I'm sure, and I can't. Yeah, I my, I'm. I'm um, I can remember one of them's wife's name, but it's not his. Misha Mitar, and anyway, it's called oh, Lunaform. Uh, they're making this stuff all the time, and they probably can tell you what that is. Oh, that's a good resource. We'll nice. definitely uh, ask them. They're nice uh, because guys. It's it's just so cool, and it's like we don't. It's just it's very large. You it's have a nice good. sea chest over there too. You know. Yes. That. Yeah. The sea chest nice. and it has initials. Um, yeah. Nice dovetail joinery. It has uh, initials in it, F H, and then yeah. lots yeah. of. Yeah. Yeah. This actually, don't know what this is. Someone's stamp that was yeah. on here. And then, then it's got a till that tips up. Those hinges are wrought and are quite old. So oh yeah, yeah. that's yeah. a nice one. You know, and yeah. then had ropes that uh, went through the. Handled on the side, yeah. It actually okay, yeah. the, the side still side. has, I think, I don't know oh, if good. it's the original, obviously, yeah. but. It, like the like the wicker, it's a piece of junk. I'll take it off your hands. I'll make oh, a oh, oh, special oh. trip down to Sullivan just for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, you know, like when we, when we first came up here, we're like, all right, so maybe there's a whole bunch of stuff that we'll be able to sell and then that will, 
yeah. pay for us to get the work done. But like, I, we just love everything. So yeah, right. we don't and, want and, to sell anything. And, and um, here's the good news is your antiques won't be stolen because they're not worth much anymore. Yeah, no. not as much as they were for a while. We watch Antiques Roadshow all the time. And Is um, that slant front desk new or old? Looks new. It's newer, yeah. but it's still old. Yeah. Um, oh, nicely dovetailed. Yeah. Yes. Let's open it up. Let's see the inside. Are you sure that's not an old one? No, it's it's definitely an old one, but I, it's okay. not as old as the one we have in the farmhouse, I'll say. Yeah. Are, the, are the small yeah. drawers dovetailed? Oh, look at that. The little drawers. Yeah. Dovetail front and back. Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. That's a good mm -hmm. one. Sometimes that uh, that center, those center drawers, the whole unit pulls out and there's storage, secret storage behind. Right. right. Oh, wow. That Nice desk. That's where the money is. We're waiting. Yeah. We're waiting. We know we're going to find a fortune. Well, we yeah. actually we feel wealthy already yeah. and rich um, because of everything that we. Oh it's my just, God. Okay. So, okay. So we talk about the fortune. All right. So I open this little this little drawer, and we have manuals for everything. Two touch tone arm. I'm thinking this. What? Is for that. Oh, the record player. This I believe. <laughs> Yeah. No. 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 We had the record player out. Um, our friend is an orchestra music teacher, so he he found um, uh, a bunch of records. Yeah. Um, Meyer well, Davis. Meyer Davis. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, he was actually playing some of the records for. Mm. Oh, he he tried. I guess he tried. <laughs> You did try. Um, the futon, the futon was here. Not that most of the chairs were here. We brought, um, we brought one couch and a couple of the chairs, yep. but everything else is was here. And we have this very cool mid-century uh, modern slate top table, yep. um, which oh, is very cool. cool. And then is the bedroom side of the house. So there's an there's. There's a back door here. Oh, what? There's a cool button. It's just a little Hey, I need you to come over here. I need some more soup. <laughs> There's, yeah, there are call buttons in one of the bedrooms as well, which we assume went over to the maid's uh, area. And our friends first came up, they camped out here. And don't worry about it, just leave it and used the bed, uh, used this back door so they could come in and use the bathrooms. Um, Which quickly changed. And here we have all of the, yes, um, all of the farmstead uh, posters from 1992 and 1987. And that's and a manual typewriter, isn't it? It is, it is. There's a manual typewriter, a very old fun one. Um, maybe that's what I'll write my book on. Maybe not. Remington? Royal. Royal. Royal Raina, okay. have you ever seen one of these before, Raina? <laughs> this is what, this is what people used to have to type their papers on yep. in, in college. I, I used to work in a high school, so I yep. know they don't know what that is. Sure we do. Yeah, I know. I got two in my basement. Lane <laughs> has never had to use a typewriter. No, I have seen them, but I've you never have. Them. I would like to use one. It seems like fun. Yep. It, it is. It, it makes a really cool clicking sound. Yeah. Um, we have I, a very. I, I use the hunt and method. I still do that. Yeah. A cool fire extinguisher. Instant fire extinguisher. Still never used. This is, well, that's uh, good that it was never used. So this is your powder, throw it on top of your fire, yep. and you'll be good. Keep that closed, because it's we'll probably that, toxic. Yeah, it's probably, probably die. Uh, Will Henry's performed at the farmstead? Yes, yes, many times. Um, OK, so this is, there are two bedrooms that were made into one over here. Um, yeah, so there's, so there's two doors. Yep. And oh, I see. 
Yeah. And there's, and you, yeah, there was, but they made this into one. Um, no, it's and there, his and hers doors, right? It is and hers doors. <laughs> well, our, our friend's son stayed in here and they, you know, they just had a blast running around with the, uh, the doors. Yeah. They, yeah. they, they thought this was the most fun house they had ever stayed in. Um, and the four-year-old said she's going to live here when she gets older. She'll miss her parents, but um, we'll but be here. Okay. So. We'll be here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but everything had closets and it, it definitely looks like the closets were, you know, built here, part of it. They're not like yeah. added on or anything. Uh, electric wise, it, it, you can see in the basement where it did have knob and tube. Yep. There's a little bit of knob and tube evidence in the basement. So Ginny was pretty good about keeping most of those things updated. I don't this opens. This this is not the 70s. This is from like 1970s. Is it? I don't know. Yeah. It's not that old. No. 70s ugly. Okay. 70s ugly. 70s ugly. <laughs> that oriental drawing, it looks pretty nice. Yeah, there's a lot. So I you know, I mean, Jenya obviously traveled a lot. Um, and she also had students, I guess, who would stay here and musicians who would stay mm -hmm. here. Um, some for the Monto school and some for her shows. Um, yeah, that was one of those. And, and, yes, yes, here we have. So this one was, had been hooked up as a shower. Um, very similar yep. layout. Now, it's a winter audience if you can, but I came at this year. It's hard for me to get it. There we go. Uh -huh. So, we went from the tub stand, and I had this here, so you could have shower head up on here. And but, it trickled <laughs> the water pressure. Well, but what, so what happened is now this house. I can tell. Uh, a spring. Here we go, check my sail. Okay. So we have, we have a, a spring down down the hill, and we have the one inch black poly pipe that yep. comes from the pump house all the way down. Yep. We pump up to here. The pipe goes under the ground. It's over ground the whole way, but like kind of from where the trailer is out there to the house, they have the one inch underground. Yep. Well, at some point, the one inch must have broke, and they sleeved half inch into the one inch <laughs> so it's like a garden hose feeding the house yeah, yeah. so it, things fill up slower and things and this side of the house it's kind of odd this side of the house is all fed with galvanized pipe yep and galvanized pipe over the years kind of shrinks on the inside oh yeah so this side is a little more of a challenge but uh yeah yeah but you know what? It's, it's, our friends who stayed here, they didn't mind because they have a camp in in the uh, Finger Lakes of New York. So that just came off. Oh, oh see, this is why we can't have nice things. I broke yeah. the handle. Because there's a huge walk, there's like a huge linen closet, even. Um, yeah. Oh, and there we go. We have some 1970s Jean Nate oh, yes, up Nittay. there. Um, <laughs> yes. I know, I know Jean has not seen that in a while and Raina probably is like what is Gina Tay? But I, I remember to... well, that <laughs> stuff doesn't freeze huh I used to get it for Christmas like every year so um but yeah this just I, I, we love we love it was in there's a mouse up there at some point plug the mouse holes with the paper yep. us, but uh the house is definitely like like this was a nursery well, we we think it was oh. a nursery. So when we got the house, we're still looking for a half bath. No, we found the half bath here. We did not find the half bath down at. It's, no, I'm telling you, that's the outhouse in the barn. <laughs> the listing, the list, these two properties, the 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 cottage and the barns and the farmhouse were listed as two separate lots and they're subdivided on our deed. Um, this one said it had four, three and a half, three and a half bathrooms. Actually, both said three and a half. So we have not 
we found what is probably the half bath here. We still haven't found what the half bath is in the house we live in down there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> maybe it was the sauna. Maybe it's the sauna. I don't know. Hopefully not. I, I've so, seen toilets in the front hall. Just uh, saying. Well, it's possible. It's not there anymore. No. Well, like, well, is a sink, is this the half bath? Well, a sink just doesn't qualify as a half bath. But what we have is a hole. So this oh, has been uh, So that's what it, you can see the toilet outline. So this oh, is the toilet. Oh. So we figured this so was, was a half bath. bath. But it's kind of odd because you have a half bath here and a full bath here. Oh, we did a full bath. So this was a definite add-on. The roof outside. Need to close that. The roof outside is flat. In comparison, at least it's too flat. Yeah. yeah. But this bathroom does come with a bidet. It's our second bidet. <laughs> we have a bidet. We have a bidet in the farmhouse as definitely well. Bidet. Definitely not camping. Not many. Not many camps have a bidet. But no. It, it is what it is. Yeah, so it has, it has like newer, again, you know, like everything is in just such great condition. Um, the, 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 floor, like the floor, yeah. And clearly that ceiling is not happy. Ooh. No. But this is also panels that were bolted together to come on. So it's, it's, it's like, a, like an air room pit. Yeah. And the foundation, the block foundation comes under the wall. So all these, all the pipes that come through here are, they go through and they're cemented around to, to feed all this. Yeah. It's, uh, so, it's all done right, but it's... So for... A game killer. So for the bathrooms, we definitely want to, um, you know, make them usable now and functional. Um, well, I think if you, we could keep the bidet. COVID has shown that people want to be clean. So maybe, maybe. <laughs> you know? Now this is where, this is what, this is the ugly piece that we did um, when oh, we yeah. had put, put the, uh, the electrical panel here. Um, but what it did let us do is see the inside of the walls. So, um, the paper is clobbered. Yep. So it's home assault. What do we have? Maybe a, maybe a two by, well, two by something. Three. Yeah, not even a two by three. Yep. So it's more like, it's almost like an inch and a half this way and maybe an inch and a quarter that way. And that's all your structure. Yep. There's nothing oh, to So it's home assault, paper, clabbers. Yep. I don't so, think this is going to be a year-round house. No, <laughs> that's what we realized. But we do, we still do need to, at least this wall, we want to build out. Um, it needs to come out, at least from here. From here to come into this, this panel. panel. So from there, it will come out, bring the window out, and just bring this in so it's a regular, yep. you know. So yeah. it looks like it's supposed to be here. Yep. But the one, we had Pat Knowles to the electric. Probably know him there, right? Uh, he said, "What do you want to put this back in the basement? Why? So, because there's no there's no stairs. So have to go out of the house if anything to to do anything. And logistically to get the service it was well. What's the what's the best way to put it? This was the closest point we could put the meter. Yeah. Just you know, let's just drop it. We'll put we'll drop it right here. And I've been bringing, you know, again the electric had been updated. Uh, most of it is some BX, a lot of it's, well, a lot of the older stuff. When, it, when they went from Nava 2, they went to BX. There had been a lot of Romex added into it. And now we'll, we'll just bit and bit and piece it together as we do stuff in the kitchen. And, and that's why I want to have the that side of the house's sub panel. And then we'll bring all, yeah. all of this will come into this panel here. Yeah. Now, you know that code in Maine doesn't allow you to put something right in front of that. Uh, that no. panel box. On right. the other hand, anywhere, anywhere. You, can't, you can't cover the panel anywhere. Cover the panel. Yeah. On the other hand, 
uh, you don't need a building permit to do anything you're doing. So <laughs> yeah, we found that out. And even even for the like bringing the, the new electrical lines, we're like, do we need uh, permits? In New York, you need a permit for everything, of course. The and they were like, no, you don't need permits. We're like, oh, okay. We, but we, uh, just, uh, we uh, just put a yeah, the chimney back in an old house, five fireplaces, two story house. So we went down to get a permit. And they said, you don't need a permit. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, amazing. It, nice? it is. Um, but so they have done some of the work on the ceiling in this yep. room. They did not this use. Is like the new one yeah, so but. But when you don't cut the panel to the right size, <laughs> that's a, yeah. you know. They buckle, they buckle out, they buckle out. So you gotta have them at the right size. Right? And the mice definitely um, like that. They've been tearing it up and leaving us now a mess. I have been in this ceiling. It is not hard to get up into. If you want to take a peek up in there, we could do that really quick. I have a ladder. If you'd like to see the structure up above. And we have these old lights still hanging down. Yeah, the lights, yeah. the lighting is definitely. I like those lights. Do they work? Yeah. yeah. Framed also. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, every every bit of electric in the house works. Everything is functional. Does that so, light switch go hard click, hard click? Uh, I don't know that they're mercury switches, but it is a hard click. It is. Yeah, that click. yeah that tends to be where a knob and tube is, you know. Yeah. And the yeah, they're switch. hard clicks. Well, yeah, they also some of them have a cool. definitive cool. imprint off. I know. Yes. You don't see that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. The, the yeah. other thing is, in normal houses, probably not this one, overhead lights are the last places you have the knob and tube because it's so hard to replace that they just don't do it, you know? Mm. Yeah. Well, we, um, well, I don't. With, with, with everything being wide open. Yeah. I you don't know. Okay. I mean, well, hopefully we don't have to switch wiring because that that sounds like a big job. Yeah, I know. You have yeah. to pay somebody to do it, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he can do everything on his own. Last, yeah. he really does. Yeah. yeah. See, look, and here we have um, all sorts of things from from the farmstead barn, and then these were actually. That's Jed the Jester. <laughs> <laughs> That's who. I think that's Judd the Jester. It says Does it Marcus say? Marcus Gabe. Oh, okay. Oh, Marcus Gabe. Okay. No, I can see now that it's not Judd. Oh, I yeah, I don't know. I, I know Hulk Henry's. I have seen Hulk Henry's perform. But that's that's it. But the house has a lot of income. <laughs> There's a lot of uh Yeah. It's 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 different. It's I, I mean, different. like, who's that? Is it looks like it could be Picasso, but that's not Picasso's signature. Yes. So I don't know. But. Both, both Junior's mother painted, and she painted too. Oh, so maybe that is one of theirs. Okay, it's, it's possible. Yeah, very interesting. Um, and we have, you know, I'm a librarian, so books, you know, are <laughs> books, right? books are amazing and and they certainly you know everybody in the family it seems yeah. collected that's churchill's uh history of world war ii i think where is that the red books on the other side these aren't that isn't that churchill yes yes it is Winston <laughs> Churchill. so you know yeah. your books too oh yeah absolutely you'll see them when you you know on the covid uh, from home libraries, you'll see those books sitting on a lot of the shelves of oh. the commentators. <laughs> okay, so I totally get that. That's what I do. I look to see, like, well, what's behind their shelves? I want to see what books. Now, yeah. this is this seems like a very old piece um, that we have the have moved this in front of. Um, you know, this break front. But again, I just want to show you because yesterday I was looking at the cocktail and cordial glasses in here. Yep. Uh, it's just like, I want, I don't I know what- I want to drink. No, I want to I drink out of drink. that. I want a cute little drink out of that just because it's so, it's just so adorable. 
um, and cordial glasses. So we will I mean, have early one. cupboards like that. The, the frames are pegged and I don't see a peg and there's a groove plate groove on the shelves and the drawers um, are dovetailed. Those are the things you look for. Are dovetailed. The drawers are dovetailed. Okay, cool. Yeah. Are there the, is a groove. Are the, is there, oh, there is a plate groove back there. Okay. A double, there double groove. Oh, oh, here's fancy. Yes. Well, are, um, but, are the doors pegged? Is there a peg, mortise and tenon and pegged together? Uh, I don't take a look at me. Don't see that. Mini. No, they're. Um, no, they're. Not. They're mechanical, but there may not have been doors on the upper originally. So you don't know for sure. Oh, that's possible. Are the lower drawers doors pegged? Yes. Yes, they are. Okay. <laughs> yep, yep. So my guess would be, yep. With the door, my guess the would be maybe the upper and lower parts are different periods, or there was yeah. no those yeah. doors on the upper part. You know. Oh, that's interesting. I had no idea. But it could be totally different periods. Yeah. Yeah, because it does look like, like the top, like this piece may have been yeah. added to to yeah. put it. it. I mean, it's a beautiful match. Yeah. If it is. Yeah. Hey, um, marriages cool. are good things, don't you know? Yes. It takes a lot of work sometimes, though, Les. A lot of work. Yep. Just like houses. Houses, marriages. Yeah. Children. It's, it's all hey. about maintenance. All about maintenance. Yes, it is. You're right. You're right. So um, I, I'm going to let Ray show you the basement. Oh, good. <laughs> Check in. Yeah, I mean, I'll stand by the door, but <laughs> I'll give you this. You, you know how to turn the camera around if you want? Yeah, for a while. Oh. So if something big and ugly comes up, you're going to slam it fast, right? The only thing big and ugly coming out of there is going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So, okay. I wouldn't go in this basement. You wouldn't go in this basement. You said, Christine and I went in this space when you said, I'll stay out here. No, you want so, him to go in first so he gets all the cobwebs in his face. Yeah. So it's, let's see, uh, out here. I don't know if you can see the old telephone pole. Yep. So those go down to Route 1. Yep. That's how it used to come. Yep. So it came from here and it ran underground yep. into, into here somewhere. Yep. So what it is, is a piece of BX. <laughs> so yeah, it's just raw. But what that does is it feeds our pump house. Yep. So it can, I, I fed it back because it's all, it's, I'm not doing, I'm not feeding the whole house and I'll, I will change it, but I fed it back to the pole. Yep. Those poles go up and then down the hill. Yep. I mean, we're, we go pretty far. I think we yep. have another three or four poles that we go into the woods to feed the pump house. And I wasn't losing that. So. And what happened was when, when those poles were put up, it was a field and they just didn't bother yeah. to move the field. And so now it goes through the woods and it's a problem. Well, and the big problem is some of those poles, you can see the knots where they just knock off the branches. <laughs> Not really poles, more like just trees. Yeah. Yeah. Trees with a cross piece, and we'll call it a pole. <laughs> yep. Don't so, wonder, down east, don't you understand? Yeah, right. <laughs> so, th this is where the, uh, well, that's, where, that's the firebox for the chimney. Yep. So, that you had that, you, you can see in some older stuff that there was a, a, a chimney stack here. Yep. And what they have out here, that one, that's the, uh, the exhaust for the boiler. Yep. So, we'd reroute that somehow, and I don't know to exactly yep. what, but they, it's a newer uh, oil-fired hot air boiler. Let's get this up here. If, if you put the chimney back as masonry, make yeah. sure you put a cricket behind it. Because usually what happens is, is they flash the upper side, the water comes down, hits the chimney, freeze-thaw cycle, splits it apart. But if you mm -hmm. put a cricket, which is a tiny little roof behind the chimney, keeps the water away and it'll last a lot longer. Okay. 
I'm not sure how, how good our signal is going to be down here. We're going to have to oh, keep an eye on that. Yeah, see ya. Oh, you down so lighting down here is kind of horrible. Yeah. Turn the camera on. Flashlight on. Oh, turn the camera on. Put the flashlight on. She says. Uh, let's see if I can do that from here. Um. Why don't you have her come down and show you how? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you can't turn it on because you're using another app. So we'll just go with this. So we have uh, an electric water heater. Yep. I won't say a hot water heater because that's an incorrect term. It's a <laughs> water heater. You not you don't heat hot water. You heat cold water. Yeah. Uh, there's our boiler. We do yep. have an inside tank. And the tank looks like brand new in here. Yep. So it's really, really good shape. Uh, the water basement, on the floor. Yeah, there is water on the floor in here. It does come in from, I forget, oh, we do have, this is hard to point out. There is, okay, in that corner, under the tank, there is a drain. Yep. So it was, I don't know where. Yep. So I need to get like a, um, one of those pipe plugs, like yep. the, the plugs that you can just latch down and it expands in. Yep. So I need to get one of those. That, that, that'll keep, that'll keep any, any of this from happening. Yeah. What, what, what we've, two things you might consider. If you can find out the outflow of, flow of the pipe, what we've done is taken easy peasy. You take a hose with a straight stream. You uh, stream it straight, and you start shoving it up from the outside and cleaning it out. The other thing you might consider is concrete absorbs a lot of water and then respires and causes you know, condensation and mold and stuff. You might consider painting the floor so it won't absorb water. You could do some UGL on it. That would... Uh, yeah, yeah. But this, this, I don't know why we had this giant return, but it's just, you can see, it's, it's, it's just a piece of ductwork. Yep. And it goes out to that one window that you can yep. pop open. Big return to keep this whole place. Yep. You know, as dry as possible. This was a root, um, like a root thing. When they yeah, redid all the ductwork in here, they pulled that out away from the wall. It was sick, sitting too high, so it's kind of pulled out this way. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo something with that to put it back. It doesn't appear rotted on the bottom much, so no. so the water uh, is not a serious problem. Look up at the floor joists. Are they rotted or moldy? No. Nope. Okay. No, we're all bone dry. Yeah, then you're all set. Don't worry about the dampness on the floor. No, the, you, you do get in, in when, it's, when it's really hot out, you will get moisture on these. Yep, yep. Uh, but yeah, you get because the, the, the ductwork can be oddly different temperature than what's around it. It can be colder or warmer. And if it's yeah. colder and you have a warm, uh, humid day, it's going to condense on it. So yep. it's a if you're using it a lot, it's a good idea to insulate all that stuff, both hot and cold. I don't think we have we have, we have yet to run this yet, yep. so be interesting. Yep. Uh, our water feed comes in. I don't know if we could see it. Yep, I see it. So, and that's where it comes in from. It's kind of yep. odd, but it comes in from there, and that's I'm going to have to re. I'm going to pull it back from there. Yep. Or I'm going to go in through here. Because this is actually closer, yep. so I have to go that way. Yep. So I may go in here and go to the corner of the house. Yep. And bring it through because here's some of the. This is an old piece of pilot. Now this is an interesting story. This house would feed the house below. Yep. At one point, so you 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 connect up to it and feed down. We yep. have a, a piece of we have a like a. About a two inch galvanized pipe yep. that runs from this house all the way down to the other house through the woods above ground. Oh, above ground. it's wild. Oh. So, so the pump down the hill used to feed up here and then down all the way. It's quite interesting. If you ever <laughs> replace the water pipe, consider that galvanized line would be a nice way to run power between the two. Yes. Yes. I, I, if I wanted to snake something down, if we put yeah, something exactly. in between. Yep. You know, I could just 
yeah. you know, snake it, snake through it, cut the pipe halfway, snake through it, and that's my chase. Yeah. Um, all the plumbing that's in here, this seems to be more of a copper pipe in here. Yeah. But once we get over, I don't know how the lighting's going to help me. It's not going to. Uh, I noticed as it splits off, well, it's probably not copper, it's bronze. Yeah. So we have bronze going, bronze Ooh. going this way to the yeah. kitchen, and we have galvanized going the other way. Yeah. It's a. Uh, I'm, it's an I'm odd by when you've got bronze piping, that's that's upper class to put a mile. Yeah. Way. I mean, it's. Uh, I don't know if you can really see it, it's not thin wall copper, and yeah. it's all. It's. Let me put it the other way. Yeah. It's thin wall copper. It's not them all copper, and you can see the valves. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like, well, that's got to be bronze. Yeah. So, are, are, but it is changes. Is there any the deterioration around the joints? Are you having any uh, solid no. evolving? No, what you, you have here, you can see where it. Yeah, kind of it's all good. Yeah. From one, I mean, this is the hodgepodge of everything here. Yeah. But you can see we have gal and bronze together, and yeah. that's just a hot mess. Yeah. So and, in my in my I, eyes, that's got to be cleaned up and yeah. And I don't over. know where how far apart they are on the galvanic scale. That may be part of the problem. You yeah, know? yeah. They could be just reacting naturally to each other. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm so I'm figuring for <laughs> for that side of the house that picks up the other two bathrooms. Yeah. Uh, I think I may just pex it out. Yeah, yeah. Pex pex is good stuff. I'm I've become a pex believer. Yeah, it's it's simple enough. Uh, yeah. But we have the the crawl spaces give us full access on both sides. Yeah. So really, the basement is under the one big giant vaulted ceiling room, the living yeah. room. Yeah. Uh, it, it is all. It's all yeah, like this is all poured. You can see yeah. the foundation. You know, see yeah. the the plywood marks. Yeah. So this is all poured. It's all you really can't see. It's all block and poured around the perimeter. So it's a good, a good, nice in here. Yeah. Um. But you know, we do have that that crazy BX wire that this was the feed for the whole house. Yep. So and wrapped in, I don't know what, but there's a lot of a lot of BX comes out. Yeah. Some more stuff comes added in. A lot of BX and uh, where was the knob and tube? The knob and tube might be in the other crawl space where yeah. you can still see a couple of knobs on the yeah i saw one as you were coming down the stairs i think oh yeah i wouldn't doubt it yeah yeah there's uh right there. there it is yeah yeah so, over his head. yeah so kind of neat there's a couple more yeah but the really interesting thing on that is they used to do the nails to keep the Yep. keep you from splitting that they were leather heads yep so that was nice um anything else to see down here i think you pretty much covered it it's it's amazingly well constructed below ground when you right considering ground it's not so well constructed now you had right. a divorce. I, you've got a brick chimney behind you what's that brick chimney this is goes to the kitchen yep so and there's a little deterioration on that chimney. Yeah, about right up in here. Level, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But down at the bottom is totally <coughs> yeah. down here too, not so hot. Yeah. So I mean, if this at one point had to be lost, it's not that it's not yeah. that big a loss. Yeah. So it's not not the end of the world. No. So should we go sit inside, go back inside and we can go back inside. This way we can ask any Let's go. You want to take it? Take this back? No, you got it. I got it. You got it. I'm good. I got this. <laughs> I can walk it. You know, I, I made you dumb too. <laughs> okay. So just to give you another shot at this. So you just, you would come out from the house and all down here is all blueberry field. Yep. So we, we go all the way out there. It's one of our that trees uh but all blueberries all all yep. along there which also need to be which we need to mow and now out beyond there is morancy river 
Street. We're at street street. Never depends on how bad the beavers have been at it. Gary knows all about that. I still want to go back to fishing. <laughs> hey, Gary, how what? long have you lived in Sullivan? Uh, 22 years. Did you, ever, did you ever know a family down your way who did blueberry, had blueberry fields and did uh, Christmas trees? The name was Durr, D-U-R-R. -R. No. They still own a farm down there and they still have a camp on one of the lakes. But one time after Christmas, they decided to go visit in Hawaii <laughs> and they never came back. <laughs> wow. And that's my uh, son's uh, son's wife's family. Oh, that's funny! Wow. Somewhere on the one, they still rent out their farm. They haven't been able to sell it for as what they wanted, so they rent it out. I'll check. I have checked that right there now. Yeah. Okay. Do you I, are, I, are somewhere between you and Ellsworth, I think, but it could be on the other side. I just don't know. I'm, I'll <laughs> find out. I can just go on the tax rolls and look. Yeah, it may not be in <laughs> Sullivan, but it's for one of the towns right around oh. there. Oh, okay. So these, you know, it, in some of the pictures that Raina um, found, you can see like the tiny little trees <laughs> that were planted yeah. here. And now yep. like they're just- Monsters. Yeah. and huge and falling down. They're starting to fall well, down. And, and all in Raina's pictures, all of this basically from the corner of the house, well, right, corner of the house, out this way and it was picket fence all through here and yep. an arbor an arbor back there and an arbor around the front corner of the house too that you could you know for accessing around yeah oh and window boxes on the each one of these windows yep oh yeah they yeah. have to figure in out how to build in the old up. days they didn't fence animals in they fenced animals out of the gardens. And that's what the fences yeah. were for, to keep the animals out. And that's what the town pounds were for. If the animals went too far, they got thrown in the pound. And after that, they became bacon. <laughs> okay, I got, a, I got a, a question. I couldn't hear Ray very well at the beginning. Did I hear you call it a kit house? Yes. Yeah. Okay, have you done any research into uh, uh, the history of kit houses and when they were being manufactured? Um, they were being manufactured, it was kind of uh, depression era. Yeah. And a lot of building materials yeah. they didn't, that they couldn't do anything with. So it was like, oh, we're gonna do this. So they were doing pre-cut lumber kit houses. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But I, and, I think- But you had a lot of different people. We can't, we can't figure the source of this particular house. It's oh. Sears Roebuck and uh, and Montgomery Ward did them. Both of those were big and you can go back to the catalogs. We and, looked we looked and, through. And they, they chipped them through by train. This was before cars, you know, before yeah. trucks could get, get very far. So they'd come in by train, you know, and yep. then be offloaded. Yeah. We, we found, it looks like, it. we found some similar looking ones. Um, and there's also a, a smaller, uh, manufacture Aladdin, yep. Yep. Um, but we we couldn't. It definitely looks like it was three, two or three that were like pieced together yep. and maybe put together in different ways. Um, or may, they may have offered some kind of a custom build. Right. Don't know. Yeah. Yep. They, they did it in, in stages. They did the yep. the center section first, and then a couple of years later they. Had, if we could figure out roughly the date, now I think you guys have, have done uh, research into the into the ownership back. Uh, uh, Don, your neighbor has, and I think at one time that was owned by was that owned by the same people? Who, who, Spring. The Springs, but before. Yes. Yep. But uh, and Springs had money. Yeah. And. I'm trying to think of Don's house and that whole piece was owned by a fellow who was president of Fowley Dickinson University. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, San Martino. San Martino. And he owned it up into... I don't know if he owned that place. Well, I don't think so. But at one point, uh, what the spring house, that what we call Don's house, the spring house we, is what we call it. Uh, uh, the, there's a road that goes over and heads toward the Blueberry Cottage, and that's where their butler, there was a oh, yeah. butler's cottage or something out there. No, it was the yeah. driver. Well, driver, yeah, the yeah. chauffeur. The, the chauffeur's, chauffeur. yep. they called it the chauffeur's uh, cottage. Yeah. Yeah, we have um, um, the, plans. the plans from like sometime the in the 50s. Uh, yep. and, and we have like, I guess they were proposing making a drive-in theater and a motel by the water. Um, wow. And there was, <laughs> it shows that um, a little towards our pump house, there was a cottage and a garage. Um, we we can see where it, there's a flat spot there, yeah. and it would make a nice place to to put a, a building. But you know, there's no evidence of it. Um, the other thing yeah. that's interesting is traditionally women didn't learn how to drive. When I first came to Alna, there are half a dozen women who didn't drive, and and we're. A, you know, there's 700 people in this town, you know, and yet they live that way their entire lives, you know, wow. whatever, you know, so this is not extraordinary at all. Did they not learn how to drive or did they just not get a driver's license? Drive the farm truck over the farm or the tractor around, but not on the roads? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a fair amount of that, yeah. But no, they just, you know, they had, they had husbands, they had kids, they had yeah. extended families. And traditionally, still, when you two get in the car, I bet you, I bet I know who mostly is behind the driver's uh, wheel, you know? And we still do that, don't we? Well, Andy, uh, control freak. Um, no. we're both control no. freaks. <laughs> we both want to be the driver, and <laughs> but I'm a worse passenger, I think. So locally, we, we take yep. turns. Is that why you turn. bring two vehicles up a lot? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, and also it's it's difficult to travel with the two dogs, yep. so um, sometimes we split the dogs up. And, and uh, I'll and I'll leave at like three thirty in the morning. And I won't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, I think um, I, I think the what I've researched the springs were actually from Massachusetts yep. Yep. and they really just came up here for the summers yep. um but it's it's difficult to find well I mean I haven't really done a ton of research on them but I have become more interested because we found um there was like a little picnic basket that had a few things like yep. that were um uh, embroidered with their initials, um, and we found uh, a, a book, mm -hmm. The Prophet by Khalil Gibran, which is yeah. a very famous book from the, you know, he was, he was in the 20s, I believe, 20s and 30s. Yeah. It was published in the late 20s, and it's, in, it's um, signed to, uh, to her, and it mentions, like, a thank you for the um, Thank you for the, I'll never forget the times. The and the, the yeah, something. like something. So we were like, oh, maybe this was a guest cottage and he visited here. That would be pretty cool. Um, so I, I got more interested in them. I, you know, it's just fascinating people, I think, have have owned and lived right. on this land. Yeah. You know, oh, and yes. I just, uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to have met Mr. Spring from back in the early days. She had to been a pistol right across from Don's house, because there were no trees anywhere. I could show you some pictures that I got from Penobscot Marine Museum <coughs> that were taken no, right around 1900, 1905. There were, the original Bridgham Hill School was right across the road from where Don's house is. Yeah. You could look all the way down to where we are when that tree in a place. Yeah. Mrs. Spring hated to have to look by that schoolhouse to see Flanders Bay. So she bought the damn thing and ripped it down and gave the town enough money to build a new one down over the hill. <laughs> well, we wonder- Which is now a house. 
if there weren't any um, trees where where we're sitting right now, we would have a view. Well, because oh, yeah. this is the highest point on our piece of property, yep. for sure. We do have an aerial photo of here oh. from, again, again, the 50s. And there's not a tree not a from tree. here almost to the water. Yeah. And I did get crazy one time, and I went on the roof here, and I stood on the peak to see. And you, you get on the roof, and you sit on your tippy toes, and you can see out across the across the across the water. You can start to see, you know, Bar Harbor and everything, and you know, nope. you popping up. So we'd have to clear cut everything, and I don't think we're prepared to no, do that. No, 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 no definitely not. Sorry, another, please, guys. Another, I found out something else. Austin Ash. <clears throat> who's about 90 years old. He is, and he lives here in Sullivan. Austin is quite a historian. His mother worked for Virginia. Really? Oh. And so now Austin has difficulty with hearing, <clears throat> but he loves his history. And you guys come up again. We'll get and you we together. Can, we can take okay. you over to Austin's place. That would be great. That you would should. be great. I... Oh. We'll he lives up. just up on the Tunk Lake Road. Yeah. He and his son have got the business where they restore and sell old wood stoves on the left. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, son lives across yes. the road. He lives in the trailer. Okay, He's a so great Mark. Guy. Do Mark. they still do they still restore wood stoves? Yeah. Oh yes. You want some? Well, no, we've got a kitchen oh. stove and uh, Brian's stove works in Thorndike's closed down. Yeah. So I didn't know there was another place that would restore stoves. Yeah, Mark. Um, he's got. He's got. Uh, he's probably got fifty or seventy nice pile of stoves that are available to sell right now. Yeah. Well, I want my kitchen stove, which was came here new in the nineteen twenties, to be restored. Wow. We'll we have a, the other yeah. question I have for you is: How did people get to uh, Sullivan? Uh, did they come by uh, steamer? Did they come by train? They certainly did not come by car. No, and originally. You should have heard Jeannie's presentation <laughs> last Thursday. She explained yeah. the whole thing. Okay. Originally, they came up from Southern Maine uh, or Massachusetts, York, Maine, for example, Saco. And I think on the whole, they probably came up by schooner. Yep. And then, of course, it was shipping and building. Uh, shipbuilding and whatever became real big here. Yep. And that's where all the trees went, see? Yep. They went on board the ships and off they go to other yep. places. Yeah, a lot of them came down a little further than, uh, not quite as far as you, but I think that the stuff that wasn't good for sawed lumber and uh, ship's mast ended up going down to the lime kilns in Rockland and Rockport. Yep. Yeah. And because uh, they could get there easily by water. Yeah. Uh, but then when the railroads came in, uh, it came here from Ellsworth and then kept going what's now the Sunrise Trail. Yeah. Uh, but it, it's uh, originally it came as far as Hancock. That was a hard line to build, given all the... Uh, well, most of that, a lot of that line was was uh, narrow gauge. Yep. And, uh, but the people, they came up from, from Hancock, I mean, from Boston on the railroad, they could get to Hancock. Yep. And then they could, there were ferries that ran all over the place down here. Yep. The, the, yeah, after. The, 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 the uh, not yep. being a, the Boston and Maine Railroad yep. ran a whole ferry service. Yep. that went all over the place. To, they came to Sullivan, to Sorrento, Hancock, Bar Harbor. You know, you could go anywhere. So they get off the train, and to get to Sullivan, uh, there was a little ferry that first it was rowed across or pulled across, or actually by the tide, because there's such a tide coming through there. Yep. It would go one way on the incoming tide and the other way on the outgoing tide. <laughs> and uh, then eventually uh, they had a cable across so they could kind of pull it across. And then later on, they once they had those little, uh, uh, what do they call them? Donkey engines, small enough to put in a small boat. Yep. They pushed them across. 
Now, I, I want we got to, photos of all that stuff. I want to get back to your narrow gauge railroad. Yeah. And and is there is there any do you have any history of that? Written? Oh, yeah, Hancock yeah. has a little bit. Uh, because I'm, I grew up in Auburn and spent treasure, a lot of time in Rangeley. I'm the treasurer uh, of the Wiscasset and Quebec Railroad. Ah, good for you. Cool. And and we have a museum down here, a couple of steam engines, and all. Well, we're the biggest one around, and that was my friend who started it. So I'm always in, when somebody says narrow gauge, you got my attention. How about how about the one over in uh, either Phillips or Strong? That's yeah, yep. remnants of the of the Sandy River and Range the Lake. When my yep. mother was a little kid, she just passed here back in February at 95. Yep. Uh, the the roundhouse was in young. downtown Rangeley and kids used to go down and push each other around on the roundhouse. Yep. 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 Uh, there, that was the uh, the Ranger Lakes and Sandy River and uh, what, there was the Sandy River is the Ranger Lakes and there was anyway. Yeah. But yeah. Did uh, I was amazed one time. Uh, we ended up going to Massachusetts to find some of Jeannie's relatives and found the Edaville Railroad. Yep, yep. And and I went, I had to go and and uh, rode on a rode on a car from the range, the Sandy River Range the Lakes Railroad. Yep, yep. around through the and that was in uh, Massachusetts for you guys. Yep. Most, most those trains are all in Portland now, aren't they? Well, a lot of them. They're in Portland, and since Portland has its troubles making things ends meet, a bunch of them are now at Sheepskit Station. So uh -huh. you my town, and and I, I, I as as of course an officer, I get to ride around free. So <laughs> how far are you away from uh, where's your brother's camp? Oh, Palmyra. Palmyra. Yeah, that's that's up, up a little north of here. The railroad went up through there. As a matter yeah. of fact, the railroad went beyond uh, Burnham Junction, and we had right of way right across the uh, um, right across the main turnpike. Uh, and it was going to be it was the Wiscasset, Waterville, and Farmington, and then it was the right. Wiscasset in Quebec. Did yeah. we ever get to Farmington, or did we get to Waterville, or to Quebec? Nah, not quite. <laughs> not quite. <laughs> well, the reason I asked is. Her brother's going to be moving up to camp here in a little bit, and we're going to go down and visit. We make him down and visit you. Yeah, I'd like that a lot. That would be fun. So, and maybe we'll stop uh, and visit on our way up from New York one time. Sure, we'll have absolutely. Dogs. We'll have to cool. not take the dog. Yep. Um, <laughs> so, before we um, end, I wanted to ask: Do you have any recommendations for what we could? Use to replace that hemisote that doesn't homosote, homosote, hemosote. Nematodes. I have I've called it a million the nematodes last. Yeah. The, 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 the issue is more that stuff would take a big span because it was light and fairly rigid. And I'm afraid if you replaced it with sheetrock, it would the sheetrock would sag horribly. And so um, so uh, what what I've uh, there when we've done things like that, we've taken taken the homosote down and provided more support, and then put sheetrock up so the spans weren't too great. That stuff is well, probably well, only is. secured around the edges. No, it's actually it, when you when you look like where we have the electrical panel. Yep. They're probably they're probably about twelve on center. Oh, okay. Behind. Yep. Uh, well, then get get a. a uh, a thinner sheetrock and, and go to it. And if you, you know, it's just not hard. What? Just go over the homosote? Or take it out. I think I'd take it out. Yeah. Uh, uh, because I, I would, yeah, I would take it out and uh, and then put, put sheetrock in. And, you know, if you've, I would rent one of those sheetrock lifts that hold it right in place, you know, mm -hmm. well worth your money. Uh, uh, stilts and tees just don't make it, you know, even for somebody young like you. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're he's, there. A Viking. Like, he's a Viking. He thinks he can do anything. <laughs> would, would, would there be enough? Let him room? think it. Just don't let him do it. <laughs> would would there you. be That's enough room point. underneath it to put some styrofoam? Yes. I would, I guess what I would do is I would put that up 
And then if you've got a little ventilation in the attic, I'd call your friendly local uh, blown in insulation guy and, and fill everything above with insulation. Because, you know, if you, if you have insulation above you and you have storm windows on and storm doors, the walls aren't going to make too much difference. You, you'll have a three season house, you know, right. and a little more global warming, you'll have a four season house cool. as long as you're high enough above the water line. Well, this yeah. is this is the highest point. So this is where we'll have to go yeah. when uh, yeah. when the when the hundred year thousand year floods come or something. But I was going to say I don't think either one, any of us are going to see the water get up to your front door down no. on Route One. I don't think you're going to need no. flood no. insurance in the Blueberry Cottage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, anything else that you had questions about? So you you saying you know, panel of things. You're talking, you're talking to, to replace the homosote on yep. the ceilings. On the ceilings, no. yeah. And oh. on the walls, I think I would probably go over it. And what I might, uh, how much thickness do you need to bring the, uh, the uh, wall out to the level of the switches and outlets? An inch? Probably about a half inch. Oh, then get half inch sheet rock, put it right over. Yeah. Problem solved. So, you know. like, so I could go in, so where the panel ends are, go yep. in between. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think you can do that. I would have I to see it. Right the house. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe play That's with that. That's a good idea. Yeah. I may take a sample and run it back. Yeah, yeah and, and, I mean. You know, between the homosote and the space and the sheetrock, you actually have an R value there. You're probably at R10 or R12, which, right. you know, your biggest issue is you've got a windy location, I suspect. So when the wind's blowing, yeah. it, it'll cool you right down, you know? Yeah, and and we, like like I said, we had hoped that we could make it a, you know, a, a year round, but we, we gave up on that like pretty recently <laughs> because we realized that that wasn't just well, realistic. Well, and, and, and maybe it's not, but um, what you're gonna look at is there's certain things you're going to have to do anyway, like you're going to have to uh, replace the homosote in the ceilings anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, insulating above your head is dirt cheap, so you might as well do it. It'll keep it cool right. in the summer. And then, and then what I would do is I'd sort of ease into three seasons and, and see what your bills are like. And right. you know, maybe, maybe you, for instance, I don't know on that building whether you've got any roofs that are good for uh, solar panels. But you know, you might get some solar in there. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do in my big barn roof is uh, it's 98 feet long. It's gonna get solar panels, you know? Well, our advantage here too, we have where we're sitting. If we go a little more to uh, route one, I yep. have just property. So yep. I could just put a, a standing field of it just outside of here and you wouldn't even see it. Yeah, well, well back feet do, do you have uh, do you have a uh, uh, three-phase power coming down Route One? Do we have what? Yeah. Three-phase. Yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, no. Yeah. No, we ha we actually have. If if you've yeah. got three-phase, th then then the developers may be interested in your property. But it's like I've got a big field facing south, but there's only two-phase power, or uh, there's not three-phase power here. So there's no real way to feed into the grid, but if you've got three phase power, you might, it might be viable. Well, what we have is we just have like the one high tension line that yep. comes off the whole road, yep. and it's just the transformer. Yeah, so my transformer knocks me down from like you know yep. how many yep. kilovolts down to down to what I have. Yeah, but if you're close yep. to three phase power, the <coughs> I like to deal with are revision energy, and they're up in. Oh, I don't know. They're uh, somewhere near Albion up that way. Uh, and uh, they do statewide and they're just nice people. I've known them for decades. So you mm -hmm. might call them up and they've got maps that show where the three phase power is. So I know the three phase comes as far as the corner of the Tunk Lake Road because it goes out the Tunk Lake Road a ways. Yeah. Hmm. So That's if, not far. Yeah. So if it's not far, uh, they may be interested, in which case they may want to lease your land and pay you, you know, which is Ooh. a good thing. And right now, uh, the state has really good incentives 
for for installing three fa uh, installing solar panels. It's a big push by the governor. Get out of here pretty soon for both less and. Yeah. No, that might well. I got, I got like seven well. acres to spare for that. Yeah, we can oh, we yeah. can give them two acres. Yeah. yeah. If they want to pay, you know. But even if they didn't, <laughs> yeah. it's us money. So. Yeah. Well, the advantage is you get free electricity, and then you get rid of that dinosaur heater, and you just turn on the electric power. You know what's the big deal here? That I gotta say that the the heater in this house is yeah. I think less than ten years old. That's your problem. And, probably, yeah. and we probably have maybe a couple of months worth of actual use. Yep. What, what, what you need to stay for extensive periods of time with that heat being on? If you were going to go year round, you might want to consider uh, there's some good uh, uh, heat pumps uh, that are whole house heat pumps that'll tie into a warm air system. And what then what you do is you use, this is only if you go year round, but then you use the heat pump until down to about 15 degrees and below that the furnace kicks in, you know? And that's, because the heat pumps can't take the low temperatures. That's right. And you- ends up, because the, the, the heaters, the, to, to keep them from freezing up, it yeah. ends up costing you more electric to run that thing than you'd run with the boiler. Yeah. Well, yeah. our electric bill for the farmhouse, which, which is electric heat, which is all electric heat, um, last last Christmas when everybody was home from college, yeah. Um, and yeah, that was it was over a thousand dollars, and we that was part <laughs> of why we realized that we needed to go work in New York for a little longer <laughs> until we could figure out how we could. <laughs> pay for the heat um or change it because that was ridiculous i mean even even when my son you know he's he's at uh he lives on campus at at umaine yep. but he and his girlfriend come back um almost every weekend yeah uh our february electric bill was six hundred dollars uh, but, but like, um, we did discover something yep. i went upstairs to do something and i don't know if it was that bill the one before uh, one bedroom that's not occupied because yeah. our other son's down with us in New York. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the heat was at seventy. Yeah. Nobody so was so we there. turned that down. Yeah. And just, <laughs> yeah, yesterday we found that in that same room the windows open. Oh no! Oh oh! oh. So, well, like. Well, well, well. well here, here, we're gonna set some money on fire if you want to come watch. Yeah. Here's the other thing. Uh, my son who has an apartment house that he also lived in part of the unit in Berkeley, Oakland on the Bay. He used to, he still does, pays me to fly out there to work on his plumbing and electrical and whatever, because in the Bay area, a couple hundred dollars an hour for those guys. So yeah. after two hours work, he's made making money on me, you know? Yeah, and he gets to visit. So uh, that that's a deal. So I suspect the same thing is true in New York. The uh, electricians get paid pretty pretty well compared to here. Yeah, I, I had the uh, the legendary story of the hundred dollar wire nut. That took <laughs> me. It was, a, it was a. I walked in. This doesn't work. What are we doing? I, I open up a box. It's a wire nut falls in my hand. I put the yeah. wire nut back, and they go, "Oh, the air conditioner's working." I said, "Hold on, I need some time." <laughs> and I rummaged around, and I, I said, "Well, this is just stupid." So I was there for twenty minutes. Yeah. I put the wine up back in place. I said, that'll be a hundred bucks. And I walked out. Yeah. 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 So $300 an hour. Cool. <laughs> so uh, what else we got? Um, I think that's it. We're running out of time. I think. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm trying to keep an eye on the clock. There's, there's meetings ahead. Yes. And uh, no, I think, I think this was really helpful and fun. And we love, um, we, we love showing this because we're so passionate about, yep. like we fell in love with everything on this land. Yep. And this house is, it's just like- Even the cemetery. Is, yeah, even the cemetery. We showed, I showed Raina the cemetery yep. today. Yep. Um, Are you gonna get but, buried there? What? Are you gonna get I, yourself buried there? Um, there's a, there's a it's graveyard. Free. It's free um, and I just heard that they're try somebody's trying to get open air um, cremation ceremonies. Yeah. Viking, Viking or Norse. 
I think that sounds pretty awesome. So yeah, yeah I would, I would totally, yeah. totally do that. Um, and, and, uh, yeah, it's free. It's right here. So, you know, yeah, it makes sense. Um, but so when right are we going to see your other house? Well, well, next time we come up, we can do yep. that. So I mean, where's, where's Raina the scheduler? There she is. Uh, yeah, so we can just schedule um, whatever works for you. Okay, good. We'll have to look at, at when we're coming back up. We have to take our dogs to the vet. Yeah, we're planning um, a vet visit. So. Yeah, and, and we want to do the Historic Society House too. Sure. Yeah. Two more yeah. we want to do. So maybe you want to do the historical society house. Well, is there anybody else that's going to be showing their houses or is it is it just us and Norm and? I think DJ was gonna, but she's kind of out of commission right now. Uh -huh. What's she wrong? Had a fall, broke her arm, Ooh. cut open her hand and oh. hit her head. Oh no. That's not good. So, so she'll be third in line. <laughs> Not right off. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, you know what? We could always we could always pay for a third one and do the barn too, because that really needs a lot of help. And I we love the go, barn. Oh, yeah. I love the barn. I well, love the could, barn. Is great. We'd be able to do the house and the barn in in one one thing too. Oh, that house is a lot. I of don't house. think so. I don't think we'd have There's enough a lot of time because. <laughs> That house, the farmhouse is actually bigger than this. Yeah. Because well, let's do the Iran house next, then, because we're right here. We yeah. can work with Raina on it. Yep. Uh, yeah, we won't set it up um, immediately, but we'll figure out how to do it. And then we'll want to give yep. a little bit of time to hope yep. that yeah. we can en encourage people to join us. To yep. I think that's a good idea. Yep. Good. I think that's a good idea. And I think, you know, if we if we decide to do the the barns instead of the farmhouse first, yep. right? Like if we want to do that, like and the and the um the historical society, the what is it, your aunt house? Um, aunt, yeah. Those those are also landmarks, right? Yep. Everybody knows those yep. and everybody knows the the farmstead barn. I mean, we learned that absolutely. Yeah. When we when we first bought it and we're like, oh yeah, we just bought a house up here. Every restaurant they're like, oh, the farmstead barn? I used to go see puppet shows there when I was a kid. <laughs> I mean, every single person, what are you gonna do with the barns, you know? Um so there were shows there from the early seventies up until, you know, the mid twenty tens. Yeah, yeah. I think she had forty years, forty yeah. years with it. The farm. Yeah. Yeah. We used to so, bring our kids there when when uh, we were up on vacation or down. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like so it. It, if it's something that could then you know generate some interest in the historical society and get people, um, yeah. you know, that's important. Like yeah. we're we're all for that. Yeah. Yeah, and the way it was done before, she there were even be buses loaded with kids from a Y or something pictures. like that that would come out to the different programs. Yep. That's awesome. I mean, I my son um, was in theater when he was younger, yep. uh, my oldest son. And um, yeah, and we have like all musical friends and stuff. So, you know, I'm like, we, we could just it. put on our own shows. <laughs> 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 not me, I'm not, I'll just run them. I'm not oh, gonna <laughs> I'll, I'll run the lights, you know, yeah, you run the lights, but well, I'll stole the lights. I know everybody has to go to meetings, so I don't, we don't want to keep you over. We'll keep it to the last second. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much for taking us through the blue yeah. I, think, I have yeah. been in it before. Yeah. Oh, well, you have to Yeah. Long I time what ago. It smells like in there. Uh, sometimes it smells a little bit like old lady. Yeah. Um, you know, it doesn't smell, there's never been a smell of mildew or oh, mustiness or like anything. Old, to me, it's old wood. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a little yeah. bit oldish, but yeah. it's not, not bad. I mean, uh, in the summer, um, we had all the windows open and fresh air. Sure. And so it, it just didn't feel 
stuffy. The winter is a little little stuffier, but yeah. and you know what else is cool is like in the summer walking up to the bluebird to the bluebird cottage and going by Mavis's wonderful oh, garden, God. spending oh. fifteen or twenty minutes talking to her. No, and buying we buy vegetables from her. Oh, um, yes, we buy like I had the best asparagus. I have ever had in my life. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, Ray does, Ray, she, we love Mavis. And, you know, Ray's fixed a few things for her and done. And then, like, she leaves us vegetables on the steps. And it's just been, we, we just, I wish we were here all the time. And we'll, we will be again. Well, I can tell yeah. yeah. This is this is real neat. Thank you so much. Uh, thank, thank you. you. And thanks for all your help, okay. Raina. Bye, guys. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye.